What's up guys, my name is Paul, and I'm Luke, we are Twin Sauce, and today we're going to the Disney 100 Exhibition's grand opening, kind of. Well, it's like the day before the grand opening, it's, I guess, like a media preview or a VIP preview. We just got invited, we got so invited. we're going, we don't know what to expect, so we're going to bring you along with us. Floral, yes. We just ran into this guy, can you tell us what you said when you came up to us? Um, you guys stayed on my couch like 10 years yes. ago and did a bunch of dance stuff yes. in my living room and I've followed you on Instagram ever since. Yes, you had a party or something. I always have parties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was in spring. Yeah, field. and I, I, I dragged mattresses yeah. onto the ground. Yeah, and we just all slept on the ground. on the floor yes. in my living room for a whole weekend right. and then followed you guys on Instagram ever since. <laughs> and. Now you're in KC. Went and you've been like, on for the whole ride. The whole you ride. saw the whole thing. Oh, I watched the whole thing. thing. You saw the 12 whole years thing. of it. Oh, there, was, yeah. I, there was one, one video of you guys dancing, I can't remember, but with some string lights you guys in the background where you're having like a really heavy bokeh. Yes, and, and I, and it, no, it was the clones. It was the clones video. Because it's like, there's five of us technically, but there's only three That's on screen at a time. What? Yes. yes. That was like 12 years ago. Yes, Wait, that was who was? Yes. Oh, I'm obsessed. Because I never heard that song, and then I would listen to it, and I was like, whoa! Whoa! It was like deep and stuff. Deep, deep cut. Wow. Deep cut. I still watch that video back sometimes. Yeah. Gosh. We did that one, and we did another one by Gold House later, oh. like years later, and it was still my favorite, because it was the same idea. Yeah. Oh. The technology just comes so far, oh, I don't have yeah. to manually yeah. frame by frame. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Insane. I'm obsessed. After chatting with all of our friends, we headed into the theater, grabbed some charcuterie, and sat down to enjoy a nice little presentation. Got our little shit. It was very boring. Snack. A little snack. A program. You guys, it's so fun already. I saw my friend Derek from Visit KC. <gasps> yes. I didn't film anything about the people we met because I just loved talking to people. So. Yeah, I was so excited. We got to see a bunch of people from the Hometown Museum. We still haven't seen Kay yet, but we saw her. She's here. I know that. We'll but see. Yeah, we'll see her. How do you follow that when somebody says such nice things? Uh, thank you so much for having us here. We decided what we would do is look at Walt Disney's philosophies and how he made entertainment for the world. And so what we did is each one of the galleries in this exhibition is about one of his philosophies. I love making Mickey so much.
after the presentation, we had some time to like eat dinner or go to the exhibition and we just were taking too much time talking to people. We found the snack table and I am obsessed. We got a little, uh, you know, your, your pretty typical churro, popcorn, cookies. That's one of everything My best. We've been talking too much. We gotta go downstairs and actually see this exhibition. Finally, for what we've all been waiting for, the Disney 100, the exhibition. But first we got to give Becky a hug and see Kay and Sebner from the Hometown Museum. <gasps> Electric Park, look, you were just talking about this. I did so much research on this for that live stream that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About how it inspired Walt for Disneyland. This is so cool. Kay and Sumner are the team that run Walt Disney's Hometown Museum in Marceline. There's a part of the exhibit that happens before you even enter, and the Walt Disney's Hometown Museum has provided a lot of artifacts and images from Disney's boyhood home. I'm smiling so big my face hurts. This is a really cool little pre-entryway that has some animatronics and photo ops. Oh gosh. It's like so lifelike. Oh look at him with this little scrunched up face. Can you take a picture of Bob? Of course. Okay. We just keep stopping, we gotta see all the things. This is my favorite short. That's fun to go through. Who's the president? The show begins. Here's my sound vault to tell you how the magic is made. The exhibition does not run in a chronological storyline of Walt and his works. It is in a more thematic sense. So you'll have the start, which is where it began. And then from there, it goes into different elements or themes of his life that he influenced. So much of this exhibition is interactive, digitally and physically, so every time you flip those pages, they actually change. There's so many different mediums represented. There's theater, costuming, animation, live action, and so many artifacts. We did not have enough time. We will have to come back to see the rest of this because there's just no time. One of our favorite things that we saw was these models that are used in animation. Paul, which one's your favorite? Dominus. <laughs> <laughs> and Vader. Vader. Look at Vader. Pegasus? I love Pegasus. Pegasus is dope. Okay. Dude, Pegasus love... is dope. I love it. The first one. Barbosa! Ship in a bottle. <laughs> Underwater. Oh, that's awesome. We don't have enough time to see everything, so we're just kind of like hurrying. They talk about the different layers of music from like orchestration and like falling and stuff. Fascinating. Oh, I'm I love this stuff. And I love music. I love this stuff. Broadway getting its moment. Bongo is on there. There it is. He Bongo. He rides a unicycle. Bongo. We should watch that again. No. The Marvel oh, helmet. Wow. <laughs> They've even got the original Iron Man. <laughs> well, the first Iron Iron Man. I'm obsessed. The Eternals even got an album. I know. The original Iron Man, that was pretty cool. Thor's That's amazing. Sick. Loki's is, uh, well, his is iconic. Iconic. Uh, and Ant-Man. Oh, this is so cool. The section of this exhibit is so cool because it talks about all the things that Walt like invented for his work and the things that he created. And it's just so cool to see how much work he put into this company and how much innovation like this camera they have all this information in it they have like Hong Kong, Disneyland, Paris, Shanghai, yeah. California, Disneyland did you see they've got over here they've got like props and stuff oh, oh look who gets that uh, featured on the actual Tokyo Disneyland Baymax and Jump, 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 so many things. We are just getting started. Uh, you can practice your drawings and color a picture. Oh, 
Oh, and you can see. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh. And, okay. Oh, well, you can draw like an enemy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to do it so bad, but we don't have time. I'm obsessed. That was so cool. I just Amazing. love Civic. It's just how much they packed into that exhibit. Not only the information, because I love the information, and, and I've loved to learn over the course of my, the last, like, you know, five to 10 years about Walt Disney and what he's done in the company itself. But it's cool to see how they presented it. Yes, yeah. uh, it it's very tactile. It's very uh, yeah, physical, it. hands-on, and I love that. Very interactive. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Ooh, Ooh, gift shop. Gift shop. I love a good crop moment. Oh, that's cute. It's this the twelve. Little, it's twelve little golden books. Okay, so it's a towel folded in half with a head hole and a hood. Now, do you remember when we had those bunny rabbit like towels with hoods? I think so. Yeah. Hoods? Those are awesome. So I do love that. Mugs. <gasps> so, oh, here, look. This is the book I actually have. This is Kansas City oh, and it has the Disney 100 on it. So that's cool. That's cool. It has the Kansas City. This is the book I have. Yeah, that's the book you have. We gotta come back with our friends. We bought tickets already. <laughs> <laughs> I love a Mickey Mouse mug. Same, same. Even Roosevelt. This is my favorite Roosevelt shirt. <laughs> Because it has Steamboat Willie. Well, I'm a huge fan of Oliver Crank though, so that's the most of his stuff. I will say, even though this is super gaudy, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> Same, actually. You just want to go through it one more time. You can't, it's already closed. I know, I just want to go You literally have less than 10 minutes. Run, sprint backwards. <laughs> you said I had 10 minutes. <laughs> well, that was fun. Don't die. Okay, bye. A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.